Hey, y'all, it's me, Trish. I am the Witch of the Dismal Swamp. All right. How's everybody today? All right, all right. I got to show y'all something right quick before I explain this to you. Check it out. I found this the other day at the, at, um, I forgot the name of the store. <laughs> it's one of the bookstores. It's a well-known bookstore. I can't remember what it's called now. Anyway, I found this there. I just had to share this with y'all because I thought it was freaking cute. It's uh, Tara on the go. It's a little, little, little teeny tarot cards. Look how little they are. They're cute. I decided I'm going to put this in my travel altar. How cute is that? This is the book. It's a hardcover book that comes with it. It's pretty cool, huh? I like it. My husband got it for me for my birthday. And I really like it. There it is. I thought that was pretty cool. I just had to share that with y'all. Anyway, <laughs> let me explain to y'all what I got going on. All right. This is, everybody knows I'm working on my chakras. If you don't know, then, well, I guess you do now. <laughs> but I've been working on my chakras, and I wanted to share with y'all something that I come up with. And I thought, well, hell, let me just try it out and see what happens. And then I was going to ask y'all your opinion. You know, on what do y'all think? If you think I could do something else, let me know. Or if I could add something else, let me know. Give me your advice and your opinions. Anyway, let me tell y'all what I got going on. I got some herbs here that I mixed up. Let's say this first so I don't forget. But I ground up a bunch of herbs. And the herbs that I chose is the herbs that are good for each chakra. Okay, like ginger, chamomile, lavender, damiana, um, peppermint, uh, fennel, then cinnamon, jasmine. Those are some of the herbs that I put in here, ground up, and I'm going to anoint my candles with some olive oil because I don't have all my oils made for each chakra yet. So the ones that I do have, like my, gen my heart chakra oil, I will anoint my heart chakra candle with my heart chakra oil that I made. But the rest of them, I will just use olive oil and then roll them in, roll my candles in the herbs. And then I will set them up. And what I will do is I'm going to light them all at once. This is going to be my main focus working candle. But I will light all of these candles at one time. Put my energy in here. It, you know, direct these candles on what I want these candles for. And once I'm finished putting that type of energy in it, I will go behind these candles in the order that I lit them. I will reverse putting them out in the same order. You know what I'm saying? Like if I light this one first, I will put, and this one last, I will light, put this one out and work my way to this one. You know, going in the same direction. Now, I don't blow mine. I snuff mine. That's why my candle thingy is so yucky. But that's, that's just me. I mean, everybody's got their own way of thinking. So anyway, once I get that done and I get the energy the way I want it to be, then tomorrow I will come in here, choose which one of the, the chakras that I want to work on first. And then what I will do is just take that particular candle, like say it could be this one, well, it's probably my heart because I've been already working on this one. So what I'll do is I'll take just this heart chakra candle, light it, and just focus on my heart chakra until this candle is completely burned out. Now, you don't have to do this in one day. You can break it down in however long you want it to be. But I will continue working on this chakra until this candle is gone. Once this one's gone, then I will go to the next chakra. So this... This could take seven days or more. It just depends on you and how long it takes for you to work on it. And if you want to wait until the candle's completely burned out. You know, it's like I said, this is completely up to you. You know, if you don't have these types of candles, you can use tea lights, birthday candles. If you want to just make it that short, you can do that. I mean, it's completely up to you. And then, this one right here is my main one, like I said. It has got my blood on it. And what I do is, you know, this candle I've been working on for a while. 
and that's why there's so much blood on it but every time Missy scratches me like this or bites me I'll use the blood from that scratch or bite and anoint my candle with it and because I also in my opinion it's my my way of thinking but because she bit me or scratched me that gives it that extra oomph for energy because it that wound came from her so her DNA is in that wound therefore I put it on the candle so that gives me that cat energy <coughs> excuse me so anyway that's just my way of thinking I mean that's just me and I also use I made up some rice in the chakra colors and the reason I did it with the rice is because my thought is going to as I'm working on my chakras I'm putting that energy I will put my candle in here and focus in on that particular chakra and then once these are all burned out then I will take this rice outside in each direction north east south west and I will throw some of the rice in each direction and make sure I thank the universe for helping me get my energy the way it should be the way the the flow should be going because your chakras can go clockwise or anti-clockwise it just depends on which chakra it is you know like your heart chakra goes in a clockwise direction you know not all of them are in clockwise your energy does this okay just think of, it's your aura so your energy is going in both directions so you have to get them energies flowing the way they should be flowing getting them lined up and that's what I'm going to thank the universe for helping me get it all the way it should be all right all right y'all if y'all got any questions about this please let me know and I will definitely get back with y'all if you want to know which direction which chakra it should be flowing just let me know and I'll answer you I'll get back with you all right thank you all to all my new subscribers to all my older subscribers I love you all so damn much I want you all to have a nice New Year's if you get shit faced then be safe don't drink and drive thank you and please all right my spirits are here they said hello to everybody I want to light it up just one more time please thank you all right y'all y'all be safe i send y'all lots and lots of love 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 <laughs> i'll see y'all in the next video toodles